What's happening everyone? My name is Adrian and welcome back to What The Pun. <laughs> Hope you're doing well and staying safe. So, if you've not tuned in, roughly two weeks ago, myself and Ronald, we both looked at all the information from Volkswagen's Power Day event. And what that basically was, Volkswagen's Power Day event was basically their strategy, their roadmap in regards to their battery cell manufacturing strategy, basically how they're going to make them cheaper and make more of them, how they're going to make a new design that's going to charge better and last longer and lighter, uh, their plans in regards to new battery manufacturing plants around the world, how they're going to improve the charging network, basically big news. So today we're going to look at all the EV vehicles currently available from all the manufacturers from the Volkswagen group. Starting off firstly with Audi. With Audi, you are looking at two flavors, the e-tron and e-tron GT. Starting off firstly with the e-tron, which I'd say is comparable to the Audi Q7 in terms of size and boot space. That, in terms of price range, you're looking at £62,205. If you go for a much higher spec model, it can go up to £90,225. In terms of range, you're looking at 224 miles to about 249 miles, depending on model. And 0 to 62, you're looking at 4.5 seconds to 5.7 seconds as well. Okay, so the second one, which is the e-tron GT, prices start from £80,850. If you go for the top spec model, which is the e-tron GT Carbon Vorsprung, you're looking at £134,290. In terms of a comparable model, I'd say you can. it's roughly like an Audi A7 in terms of sizing. Um, in terms of range, you're looking at 283 miles to 296 miles as well. 0 to 62, 3.3 seconds to 4.1 seconds depending on the model you go for. Okay, so with the two flavours Audi currently offer in terms of their pricing, styling, uh, quality and the performance, I would say it's very much comparable to something like a Tesla Model S, Model X, a Porsche Taycan. Uh, so it's in that category of luxury EV vehicles. Okay, moving on. Next, we'll be looking at what Bentley and Bugatti have to offer in terms of EV vehicles. In terms of EV options they currently have on the market for consumers, it is nothing. So <laughs> moving on swiftly to the next one, we'll be looking at Lamborghini. They've been working on an electric car since 2017 and that is also in collaboration with Massachusetts Institute of Technology. In terms of how it looks, I mean, it looks insane, it looks crazy, it looks like it's going to be really fast and it also looks like it's not going to be very practical but when you're paying so much money for something that crazy, who cares about practicality? And in terms of what we know about the car currently, not a lot. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to cost, I don't know what the 0-60 to is going to be but I can tell you it's going to be using some kind of innovative material it's going to be very quick and i can only imagine it's going to be made in a very limited production as well uh, but i believe production of it is starting or it's on the way this year next up we have porsche in terms of ev vehicles they currently offer the Taycan, and they offer the Taycan in many different versions so starting off with the base version you're looking at it to start from £70,690 and it can go all the way up to almost £140,000 and that's before adding any of your personalised options and that would be for the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo Turbo S. In terms of range you're looking between 240 to 300 miles, 0 to 62 
from 2.9 seconds to 5.4 seconds depending on the model you go for. Okay, so in terms of pricing and performance, as you can see, the Porsche Taycan is very similar in terms of their pricing and performance in comparison to the Audi options. Next up, we have the Seat Mi, which is basically the Volkswagen Up. So the EV version of this vehicle is currently at £20,300 range you're looking at about 160 miles which is roughly the average of uh, EV vehicle of this size in terms of range. Moving on next we have Skoda. Skoda currently in the UK only offer one EV option which is the INAC IV. I hope I pronounced that right but yes the INAC IV is Skoda's only EV option within the UK. It's uh, basically based on the Volkswagen ID4 which uses the MEB platform. In some countries Skoda actually offer another EV option which is called the CityGo IV. The CityGo is basically also like Seat Me based on the Volkswagen Up. Okay so in terms of price range for the Enec IV you're currently looking at £31,995 and it can vary all the way up to 42,900. In terms of range, you're looking at 256, uh, all the way up to 327. Zero to 62, you're looking at 8.5 to 8.7 seconds. Last up, we have Volkswagen. So Volkswagen currently offer in the UK the ID4, which is the latest addition to their EV lineup. Then we have the ID3, the E Up and the E Golf. So starting off with the ID4, currently they're only offering the first edition. So, I but I believe shortly they will have other variations of the ID4. But in terms of the ID4, prices start from forty thousand and eight hundred pounds, zero to sixty-two at eight point five seconds, and a range of three hundred and ten miles. The ID3 prices start from about £32,470 all the way up to £42,600. Uh, 0 to 62, you're looking at anywhere between the 7.3 to 9.6 seconds, depending on which motor you go for. And in terms of range, you're looking at roughly about 263 miles. Next, we have the E Up which starts from £23,555, 0 to 62, 11.9 seconds, a range of about 160 miles. Lastly, we have the e-Golf, which is at £27,575, um, 0 to 62, 9.6 seconds, and a range of about 144 miles. Okay, so... That is it. That is all the cars offered within the Volkswagen group that are all EVs. So we're talking about Audi, Bentley, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Porsche, Seat, Skoda and Volkswagen themselves. That is quite the lineup of EVs within their group. And I can only imagine it doesn't stop there because there's probably a lot more EV vehicles to come in the future as well. I mean, with the Power Day announcements that Volkswagen had made, they're committing to launching vehicles by 2023 with their new battery platform as well, which should bring out a lot more affordable options to the market as well. And given, you know, the years to come a lot of these current EV vehicles I mentioned would have depreciated quite a lot and there'll be a lot of used EV cars on the market from that list as well you know and as well as all the new EV cars that will be available to us in the future so I'd say exciting times and a lot of options to look forward to in the future okay so before we wrap up please drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on Volkswagen Group's lineup of EV vehicles. 
it's pretty decent, right? In terms of variety and flavors, you have, you know, all the way from your base model, you have the Sayat Me, the Volkswagen E Up, and you have the crazy ones like you, the Audi e-tron gt carbon vorsprung you have the porsche taycan turbo s cross turismo and you have you know this unicorn of a lamborghini tierzo millennial i hope i pronounced that right but yeah it's a very decent lineup right let me know what you think but anyways that's it for this week if you're enjoying the content make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep yourself up to date with what's going on with the channel. Okay, take care, see you next time. Bye bye.